What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the Redneck Day Trader. M-U-L-N. Thought today would be another boring Friday. It was anything but boring. We're going to look at the 15 minute chart. Kind of tell you what happened today on this stock as we talked about in yesterday's video. 220 support. That was going to be a big number. I felt that we were definitely going to go uh, to 220 and test. I said if we got some good volume at 220 and we push through it, that we would probably go down and fill some of those gaps lower. Or if we got good volume around here, we might you know, get a push back up. Well, we kind of got a little bit of both, but we get, didn't break 220 by much. We got down to 215 for the first 45 minutes. Uh, your first 15 minute candles right here went down and tested at 215 about three times. And then they come up and tested uh, the now resistance 220. Finally, about 35, well, 45 minutes in, we finally broke back through the 220, came back up for the next hour, uh, just a little above, maybe 229 or so, and then we'd go back down and test this 220. And then the volume come in right here on this candle right here, and we got a big run up to 250. And for the next hour, hour and a half, you, you messed around here about 275. I think you topped out at 277 today. Uh, had really good volume right here, but we kind of faded out right here. Went all the way back down into uh, the high 238s, somewhere around in there. And then ended up finishing up at 251 for the day. So, just to be transparent with everyone, I did uh, exit this position uh, today. Um mainly until the smoke clears. I did not expect when I started covering this stock uh, that we would get the kind of press that, we, that we've gotten, uh, that we've received this week. So I'm not saying sell this stock, not telling anyone to buy this stock, okay? You, you do your own DD, but for me personally and uh, my risk uh, management, I did not want to be in this uh, over the weekend. So now it may blow up. It'll probably will probably blow up to uh, six dollars now. You know, coming this weekend. Uh, good news a break finally, and we'll probably run up to six dollars. And I hope it does for everyone. I'm going to keep uh, covering this stock, and I'm not saying that I will never buy it again. I just want to kind of you know this report that came out this week. I just want the dust to settle a little bit. There were some things that kind of uh, made me raise my eyebrow even before this report came out especially with uh, the CEO a week or two weeks ago when he announced that he's going to have a big announcement about a Fortune 500 company. Uh, to me, I'm very, I'm a very competitive person, very aggressive person. Uh, to me, it only makes sense. If you got the momentum, announce it. Let's announce it. Let's get this baby running up to six, seven, eight bucks. Okay. But, you know, it's been what? A week, two weeks, week and a half, something like that, since we had this interview and still no announcement. And then uh, we had this report uh, come out this week, a very negative report. If somebody's sitting there bashing my company and my reputation uh, like these guys did, I'm going to stick it to them, especially if I know they're short selling my stock. I'm going to announce that news. It, it, that stuff just makes sense to me. And my brain... My redneck brain cannot figure out why someone wouldn't come. If you've got this in your back pocket, this major news, lay it on these shorts, man. What are you waiting on? So anyway, that's what ticked me off about the stock and pissed me off. I know a lot of these reports, these short reports and stuff like that. It's a lot of BS, you know, and like I said, I'm not trying to scare anyone off. Just for me, it just kind of pissed me off as a man. You know, I mean, you know, you... I don't know. You just got you. You just got to get out there and just stand up for yourself. Is how I feel. So anyway, uh, nobody cares about my opinion, but I just want to be transparent because I have been a big cheerleader for this stock. Uh, when I found this stock back when it was seventy two or seventy three cents, none of this garbage was out on this stock. So yes, I did pump this stock. I was a cheerleader for the stock. Still am. I still like this stock. It kind of put my channel on the map. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got all this drama and stuff. I'm just not a big drama type guy. So 
I'm going to sit on the sidelines with this stock for a little bit. Not saying now Monday. Now I'm not trying to be a hypocrite, but Monday, if this announcement happens and we got a, a ton of momentum going, yeah, I probably I probably throw some back at it. But to sit here and hold it over the weekend, eh, you know, just not for me. I'd rather wait and see see what happens, you know. And I may miss out on uh, thousands and thousands of dollars, but that's okay. It won't be the first time. And it won't be the last. I promise you. But getting back to the chart, that's what you're here to uh, to see. Uh, the daily chart now. This is one reason I don't like the MACD cross when it, when it closes down. You get a lot of, uh, in my experience, you get a lot of these top wicks, which I don't like. You'll get a, a a big, you know, a blue day, a green day where you're going up, and then like today we got that good momentum. And look, I said, man, this thing might go back to three dollars real quick. We got up around 275 and stalled, and then we faded. We had a lot of sellers come in around 275 and push us all the way back down in the 230s at one time before we finished up at around 250. So your 220s definitely, which is, well, your support now is probably at 215, but that's definitely a reactionary uh, area. So you want to watch this area again uh, on Monday. Hopefully, for all of you that are holding, hopefully you get that big news you, we've all been waiting on, and this thing takes off and goes past four bucks. I hope that happens for everyone. It's long here, but uh, if not, let's watch this two twenty support. Let's see if we test that again uh, on Monday, or if we go back up and test the the two seventy five. So that's the that's the two areas you're gonna have to watch. Your pivot's gonna be around two fifty where it's at now. So. From 215 to 275 is going to be your range. And if you get strong volume at either one of those areas, that stock's probably going to break uh, in that direction. So if you're getting heavy volume coming into 275, you may be ready to go up to three or past three. Same thing. If you start picking up uh, momentum, volume momentum going down to 220, you might be getting ready to bust down uh, to fill that gap at 178. If I was a betting man with my MACD down here, I would say the odds favor you're going to pick up uh, momentum going back down towards this 220. Not, I mean, like I said, I'm a redneck trader, not a professional. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'm still going to follow this stock. I still do videos on it, uh, do the charting. We've, we've nailed the charting uh, just about every time for the last six or seven weeks. Uh, like I said, my prediction last Friday, last Friday's video, where I thought this thing might go to six bucks, did not happen. As far as I know, that might be the only uh, one I was, you know, really wrong on. But the stock has been easy, or at least for me to, uh, you know, do the resistance and the supports and all that, and kind of see where the stock's going to hit and everything like that. But anyway, uh, it's a fun stock. I, I, it's kind of put me on the map. Like I said. So I'm going to follow it, not trying to scare anyone off. Um, I'm not that type. I just basically go by charts. Uh, but like I said, when the drama kind of dies down a little bit uh, and the price is right, you know, I get a good alert or whatever on the stock. I'll be back in, I'm sure. But anyway, until the next video, we'll see you then.